Hey and welcome! I'm Hammy and you may have noticed but the channel is spinning up a little bit over the last few weeks so we are so back but a step at a time. This is a channel update for the first time in a while. In this video just want to have a quick chat with you about what I've been up to, a little bit about how I'm feeling about content and stuff right now and what we're planning to get into over the next sort of few weeks and maybe months. Now time codes in the description below if you want to skip around as always. What's been occurring? Well, a bunch of stuff really. I guess in terms of, you might have seen on this channel, my video output has been a little bit slow, a little bit more quiet. I've been doing stuff through 2023 and into 2024, but maybe once, twice a month at most, we're gonna be making that a little bit more frequent for the next month or two and seeing how it goes. Uh, I have been working some cool contract work. I did some cool work with um, some major social networks for a little bit. I, I worked with a, a mobile phone company for a bit as well, which was super cool. Um, but I've always been, while well, doing all of this work in and around sort of social and content and things like that, feeling, you know what, I'm gonna get myself stuck into content again uh, and doing things I enjoy and hopefully you enjoy too, but in a little bit of a different way this time, maybe from the first time that I, I did it and we did it when, when Overwatch was first out and when the, this channel and community came together, uh, cool, eight plus years or so ago now. I guess I should also mention in the, the, the last sort of year or so, I had a, an amazing trip to Japan. Uh, a few selected examples of bits of video and photos I'm, I'm showing you here. Um, was wonderful, was too short, uh, really sort of opened my eyes to the world the short time, the time we were there and uh, would, would really love to get back into that again. So just something cool personally as well. Um, hope you can get the opportunity to visit if that's the kind of thing that you're into. But enough of holiday photos and things like that. Uh, a bit about me wanting to start doing more content and sharing more stuff with you guys again and what that might look like. So I've been jumping in and out doing things around Overwatch and things that interest me or I enjoy a little bit here, a little bit there while I've had one of these busy bits going on. But I'd like to get stuck into content a bit more again. I enjoy it, I always have. Um, and it's probably worth saying at this point that obviously over the, the bunch of years I've been making content, you, you've been around this channel if you've been here since uh, the beginning, big shout out to the OGs. Uh, if you're here in the last few weeks or months, big welcome to you too. Hopefully more cool stuff for you. And like games have changed. We've gone through like the whole almost sort of like loop of live services of Overwatch sort of being a team focused thing where all of the heroes were free. Apex, Fortnite, the huge loop of everything, trying to be a live service, always on game with seasonal content and microtransactions, coming around in a circle to people really loving and, and valuing indie games, single player games, RPGs, and, and, and stuff that I've loved and played for, for absolutely ages. Uh, I can't show you my entire shelf, but we might have to show you that at some point. Social networks and content uh, have also changed. Um, as a content creator nowadays, you need to, of course, and this is no surprise for the last few years, short form super important. Um, I'm trying to grow my TikTok, by the way, it's Hammy Law. I'm putting the link here. Um, I'm trying to get to 10,000 people, by the way. So at the end of this video, if you've got a second, if you're on TikTok, um, I would really appreciate if you could throw me a follow. Uh, we are 2,000 short or so of 10K, and at 10K, I can monetize some videos, uh, doing other short form content and stuff on there as well. Um, so yeah, short form content, really, really important for creators. Um, and then also, you know, as much as things change, a lot stays the same. So just to be clear, the content that I wanna make, um, I love lore, I love stories, I love um, fictional worlds and, and storytelling, whether that's in games uh, or in other places. And this is whatever format it takes, like wherever the, it's about Overwatch or other things, like all the kind of stuff I really still wanna keep making. So I've done that for years. I wanna do more. It's probably gonna be on this channel. Maybe we'll do a bit on TikTok, maybe sort of on another YouTube channel. Um, if, for example, I start doing long video essays, um, it maybe feels that they might need to go somewhere else and start something new and happy to do that. But we've been here before. I wanna show, not tell. So we'll start making stuff and see how it goes. But I'll share a little bit about some short-term plans in a sec. Just a quick bit here, obviously, you know, we've come from Overwatch and I still do stuff around Overwatch. I love the world, I love the characters, and it's been a big part of me and content and probably for most of you, how you came here and how you met me on my content and how we've chatted for like, years and years and years now. Um, Overwatch 2 at the moment, this could be a separate video, so I'm gonna keep this super quick so it doesn't become one of the uh, ham rambles. Hambles are a very, very long kind of update. Overwatch 2, to me, is slowly getting into a better place. It released where it was. Um, we've had the sadness and the perhaps inevitable pivot um, sadly away from PvE. I'll be very surprised if we see any more PvE missions. If we do, then I don't think they're going to be any more than what we've seen in the first set in terms of invasion. Uh, so Overwatch 2 has had it rough at points. 
I do feel that the team are responding to feedback. I do feel that they're trying to get it to a place where it will be a, a healthy community, a healthy game, a healthy, ongoing, uh, exciting thing to play with live service elements, uh, with seasonal events and content, and of course with collaborations and skins. You know, free to play games can't be completely free. The companies have to make them worthwhile somehow. We live in a society, etc. It's the pieces around the edges of that. It's how you monetize, it's how it feels, it's how respectful or not it is of a player's time. We have so many live service games now that you can't keep in touch with more than one or two depending on what you want to achieve in each one. Do you want to get better competitively? Do you want to play a season and complete a battle pass? Do you want to try and get a particular skin or, or achievement or, or something like that? Um, depending on what you play, there are just too many of these things now and people have got to pick and choose. Um, so new games launching into the space are fascinating, but we'll save that for another day as well. So Overwatch 2, don't think it's in a bad place. Think that uh, the changes with uh, Heroes being free, with being able to earn uh, the mythic crystals and being able to access old mythic skins not lock that content away so that it never come back i think all of these are sensible and hopefully uh, i hope that the direction of travel in making these changes will show blizzard that they can earn some money uh, and still have a game that's sort of you know favorable to its players you know respects its players maybe slightly more than average or certainly the average amount when it comes to battle passes um microtransactional systems amount that people are paying for content uh, and things like this so I, I hope that the changes that blizzard are making improve things for overwatch uh, i still play overwatch a bit here and there i i, I jump in i'm actually going to play this season and been playing this season a bit more to to try and get my my mercy mythic or my battle pass um and i may not even buy the mercy mythic like i want to go back and get the amaterasu kiriko myth you may have seen videos here i was pretty critical of some of the ways in which the overwatch store and things were doing stuff when they came out with overwatch 2. so good things for overwatch um sadly with the sort of semi shutting down of pve uh, with heroes ascendant releasing we're also going to see law becoming more of an out of game thing i think law interaction of the voice lines are all still in game all still cool um still going to be doing videos and stuff on that and i have a whole bunch of stuff i guess this jumps neatly into like plans for now so I guess number one, Overwatch content, Heroes Ascendant, the uh, short story compilation has released. Um, excited to be jumping into that. And there's eight stories. I'm gonna be doing eight videos on those, going through all of the analysis and lore and break it down line by line, all the stuff I enjoy. I know if you're watching this channel and if you're watching a channel update, I've probably enjoyed for a bunch of time. So getting stuck into that, I still, um, even though I wrote the scripts, uh, I, I wrote the, um, uh, Deadlock uh, Rebels book script. Uh, so we actually still have a couple of novels to catch up on in terms of lore analysis on this channel on YouTube. So Deadlock Rebels and of course the Sojourn novel. Um, I, Funny fact for you, I wrote my entire script for the Deadlock uh, Rebels novel years ago and then uh, Blizzard controversy started and then the whole McCree to Cassidy thing happened as well. So I didn't really feel at the time like either releasing that video or rewriting it, but we should go back to that. So lots of Overwatch lore content to come as well as some catch-up stuff short stories that i haven't covered on this channel over the last couple of years and things like that i've always wanted this place to be a cool place to see everything to do with overwatch law and literature in one place so i'm going to keep doing that that's going to keep going forward secondly uh, you may have noticed me experimenting a little bit with other different stuff uh with the odd video here the odd video there now as i haven't been hugely active with the amount of content i've been putting out regularly on a weekly or monthly basis this has probably seemed a bit random to some of you i might pop up with a, a valorant video here or a marvel rivals video there and you're like oh well hang on a second i, I subscribed to this guy for the overwatch stuff um and now he's not doing overwatch stuff and i've not heard from him in a month and i don't know if i, I want to subscribe to him anymore well completely understand um but going forward with the plan we're going to be having all of that overwatch content that i mentioned uh, marvel rivals i got into the closed alpha it actually finishes checks notes i think 20th 21st of may so like a week's time from when i'm releasing this video i'm really enjoying it uh whether or not it's going to succeed i hope that it finds a place uh like i mentioned the live service hero team shooter fps world or, or, or live service games in general feeling more and more saturated but it's a Marvel IP and a polished game. I almost see it as being like a test. If this can't make a dent in the market or find a place now, then the area truly is saturated. Uh, just a quick note on Marvel Rivals. You'll see me doing a few voice lines, interactions, lore. Like I'm no Marvel expert, but I enjoy Marvel. 
I'd love to get into it more. I've read a bunch of comics and things like that, but uh, I wouldn't put myself as a, a Marvel law guru compared to some people out there. Um, but enthusiastic would like to learn more. Now, with this game, you may have seen on social over the last sort of, I guess, few days, given that the, the closed alpha for this only launched last Friday, that there was a clause in some content creator agreements that content creators signed with, with NetEase and the, and the developers of Marvel Rivals that said that they couldn't effectively say anything negative or disparaging or make unfavorable comparisons about the game compared to other titles. Now, number one, uh, they actually walked that back and apologized for it. Silly to do it to start with, but they walked it back and apologized for it. So cool. Let's see how that continues. Uh, number two, I never signed it. <laughs> I, I did sign up for and, and register interest in their content creator program, but fairly, uh, or because they're busy. Um, you know, I, I've not been hugely active, so I didn't get a reply. Uh, I was very kindly uh, passed a code from someone else. Thank you very much, Ryan. Uh, and as a result, I haven't signed any agreement for any of the content I do around Marvel Rivals. So just so you're clear, uh, any content I make around Marvel Rivals is not restricted by that clause or any clause. It's just my honest opinions. Game's fun cool voice lines cool interactions i like playing the game as well so i'm going to be experimenting a little bit with content on that over the coming weeks uh, there could be 17 18 videos i make one on each of the characters but we'll see how we go i enjoy it uh, i'll see if you folks enjoy it give it a go see what you think uh, whether you're an overwatch fan valorant fan or otherwise i'd love to know what you think about any of the content i make tell me if it's for you tell me if it's not for you i'd love to know how i can improve as well so Keep an eye out for some Marvel Rivals stuff, I guess. Uh, and then number three, um, Valorant and some other titles. I might dip in the odd video here and there. I think that there's going to be some cool stuff. I Let's go back to 2020, where maybe you don't want to think about the beginning of the pandemic. I was actually in the Valorant closed alpha, right? Very kindly gave me the opportunity to get into there. There was probably an opportunity then, like four years ago, for me to really push into Valorant law. Now... Uh, for a variety of reasons I didn't, it wasn't because I didn't want to, but because I was trying to juggle some other stuff uh, at the time. Maybe there's still an opportunity for me to just do some fun Valorant Law stuff. I feel there'll be opportunities for that this year and there's always an opportunity to do good work in a space and if you enjoy something that's a good reason to do it too. So maybe some Valorant bits, maybe some Va uh, Marvel Rivals bits, certainly a lot of Overwatch bits. So that's the rough plan for the coming weeks. You're gonna see a bit of a mixture with an, an emphasis on Overwatch, but also Marvel Rivals and, and Valorant dropping in here and there as well. So let me know how all of that works for you. Do you like it? Do you not? Maybe should I make a new channel for other stuff? I've been thinking about that too. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, short-term plans. Now, as for the longer-term plans, well, I'll be careful, we've been here before. <laughs> I've always wanted and always enjoyed investigating different worlds and stories, whether they're in games, whether they're in films, whether they're in TV. Like I feel that I've got learning to do in some of these areas, but there's a lot of cool stuff I could make and a lot of ways that I could approach sort of, I've enjoyed interviewing people on the channel in, in, in the past, uh, video essays are something that interests me. So I do have quite big ambitions always have. And I think that maybe now is a time to start dipping a toe in the water and seeing if we can explore some of these slowly. Uh, but they're gonna make sense, they're gonna make sense for you, they're gonna make sense for me. Um, some of the things I've tried to come off, some of them haven't so much, but just to be clear, like the goal of any content in future is to get into the lore, stories, worlds, and, and creation of these worlds uh, that, that I enjoy, and I know you enjoy, and a bunch of people enjoy in different ways, different areas, different fields and stuff too. Uh, so really excited for that. Uh, quick note, unlike voice lines and interactions, now, my, my series when Overwatch first kicked off was like explaining the whole lore behind the character and then explaining why the voice lines and interactions fit into that lore and, and create this character and, and, and discovering characters through their lore, but also everything around them. I know recently I've, I've done just a bit more of the, the, the voice lines and interactions and not so much of the lore stuff. Um, I've obviously, I've done stuff like Overwatch Declassified and really like deep lore analysis and, and picking stuff out in that kind of way. Uh, I will continue to do voice lines and interactions. I'll continue doing those. I really enjoy them. Uh, I think that if I'm going to keep doing them, I will swing back a bit towards doing the whole sort of character-based thing in future, uh, rather than just a repository of voice lines and interactions. Now they're cool, but as I've said, we're eight, nine years into this um, in many ways. And of course, loads of people do that now and it was never really what made her, I feel personally my content like unique in the first place if that makes sense it's not that I don't enjoy it I, I love going through the game and, and picking all of that stuff out 
but as I mentioned, you know, the world changes, people learn, people see what works. So I want to focus on what I enjoy most and maybe what I think I'm best at and, and racing other people to make the same content. Um, nothing against them, uh, uh, nothing against myself either is perhaps I feel maybe not my strength at points. Like I feel I'm strong when I can sit down, write a script, go and stitch everything together, go and find like cool references everywhere and go and make like an hour and a half long like the Overwatch story so far timeline video. Um, that kind of thing I feel is my strength. Um, so hopefully more of that kind of thing, but step at a time. We're gonna go with this plan of Overwatch, bit of Marvel Rivals, bit of Valorant. And the final thing I'm gonna throw it over to you is what would you like to see me do? Um, there's a lot of stuff we could cover, a lot of worlds we could cover and explore and all that kind of stuff. Uh, there are new games, of course, games is always a good starting point, like Dragon Age Dreadwolf, like who knows when that's gonna be out. Um, there's lots of hope in thinking it might be later this year. Let's see, I've always enjoyed Dragon Age, Bioware and Mass Effect games. Again, mentioned this before. Um, Black Myth Wukong, um, big into my um, sort of, you know, my, my Chinese sort of like uh, literature and history and things like that. Films, TV, books, like comics, like name stuff. And I'll think about giving it a go. Like there's cool things that I'd like to try and give a go. A couple of the, the videos probably I'm most proud of are like my cyberpunk uh, around when 2077 was releasing. I was, I was looking to sort of get into that at one point. I did a really cool video around like uh, the, the sort of lore and history behind the Netrunner class and cyberpunk and the story of that sort of class fantasy and character fantasy. There's also one on this channel like about owlbears and Dungeons and Dragons. I tried some Dungeons and Dragons lore and that was super fun as well. Um, so maybe in me there's a general story lore, storytelling like different worlds channel. I don't know, but but we'll see. So there we go, there's there's an update, what's been going on, what our plans for for the coming weeks, uh, and how you can support and get involved. Well, it sounds cliche, but you know, throwing likes, commenting, sharing the videos, whether it's here or on TikTok, always super helps. So please let me know what you'd like to see me do, what kind of stuff you're into. Let me know what you're enjoying. What are you in, enjoying at the moment um, in terms of games, TV, books, what's coming up this year? that you're really going to be enjoying as well. Love to hear from you too. Um, and as a final reminder, if you want to get stuck in, if you want a really easy way that you can help out, uh, my TikTok is here. So if you can throw me a follow on TikTok, if you're on there, that would super help. We're trying to get to 10K, like I said before, that helps me monetize on there and do some other cool stuff, access some more opportunities. Um, and then finally, Discord. Now, I've always been bad at this for a long period of time. Uh, I never really wanted to launch a Discord until I felt that it could be sort of looked after, supported um, and, and moderated and done well. Um, so hopefully we're going to be at that stage now where it's time where we just got to give it a go and see what happens. So here's my Discord. The link and the invite is in the description below as well. So please come and join the community on Discord. Say hello. If you've enjoyed my videos for years or minutes, you want to find fellow lore fans of Overwatch, of Valorant, of other games as well. If you like playing games and want to find a place to play some chill games with people, we play some games and, and group up and play games and stuff in there too. It'd be really nice to have you. So if you want to join the Discord or follow me on TikTok, in the short term before anything else that would be a super good way to help thanks so much for your time uh, let me know how you're doing uh, and yeah really excited to see how we move on from here but yeah stand by for a bunch of videos in the next few weeks and then after that we'll see cheers for tuning in good to see you i've been having take it easy